you did it then. I can't believe you actually followed through with it. I didn't have a choice. Yes, you did. You know you did. No. You had a choice. And look what you chose. Don't. Don't what? Don't talk to you like this? I'll talk to you however I want. Whatever it takes to get you to see what you did. I'm telling you. After what you did, you have no right to tell me a damn thing. Stop it! I had to do it. I don't care what you say. I didn't have a choice. Yes, you did. You could have moved on. You could have walked away. But what did you do? He deserved it. That's not your call. Why not? You're not God! <laughs> you know what kind of man he was. You know what he did. To his kids. You know what he was. It doesn't matter what he was. Innocent, guilty, but a life is a life. You don't see it! You don't remember. Late at night, hearing the footsteps coming down the hall, knowing those footsteps are coming for you, the light pouring into your dark room, his silhouette standing in the doorway, a belt in his hand. Standing for so long, you, you hope that this time he might just leave. You feel your heart beating in your chest. Then he moves. Every footstep beating with your heart. You try to hide, but he pulls you out of bed. The pain of every anger-fueled strike. You stare at the floor as he t takes out all his frustrations on you. Screaming at you. The words hurting just as much as the belt. I was five. What could a five-year-old have done so wrong to deserve that? Nothing. I did nothing. I still hear his voice every day those words. Worthless, lousy, good-for-nothing piece of shit! Every relationship falls apart. Every job, I fuck it up. And that voice is always there. Right there, in the back of my head. Always there. I had no choice. You gave me no choice.